for me, I just keep it pushing because I know who I am. I think it's time to really include marginalized folks within fashion in big ways. That's why I'm working so hard to become a model so that in my wheelchair, being trans, black, and disabled, feminine, I can walk runways like Gucci and Prada and Dior and, and Mason Margiela and all the big runways because there's no reason not to. It's just up to them now because we're here. I want to get signed to a Marley agency so I can take on runway and editorial and beauty campaigns because there's such little representation for disabled bodies, people with disabilities, and black trans women and femmes and non-binary people in general. And somehow, I'm at the intersection of all of that. And never have I once seen myself properly represented on like a big platform or runway or beauty campaign like that. People place limits and boxes upon bodies that are not represented. God willing, there will be a change and these kids are going to look and see themselves in, in these things and know that there's something out there for them. I decided that rather than coming out to my family one-on-one, -on -one, I would come out to the internet first being with my safe space. I came out as a gender fluid person who goes by she, her, and they, them pronouns, but I identified as gender fluid for, for a very long time. And I used to have my pronouns go how, about how I felt daily. But then I realized like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm not gender fluid. Maybe I am non-binary. And even if I am non-binary, I still really feel very feminine. And I don't identify with masculinity or just being gender neutral specifically. So I went from gender, flu gender fluidity to being non-binary and not identify as a non-binary trans girl. If you're a person and you identify as feminine but you're not a woman, that's valid. And if you're masculine but you don't identify as a man, and that's valid. And if you are a woman or if you are a man, that's completely valid as well. But sometimes there are people who feel as if they don't have to necessarily identify with being a certain sex or gender, but they can definitely like identify as having masculine or feminine traits and lean towards that with pronouns or not. You notice anything at all, because gender is a big painting. I think that pronouns are kind of like primary and secondary colors, especially if you have more than one pronoun. They're both valid, they both exist, and I both use them, but one is prioritized over the other being that being a woman is very important to me, but I also know that I am non-binary and that I'm gender not conforming. It's been stepping stones throughout my life, you know? I had the experience that a lot of people had where their parents were not supportive, and I think that they still struggle with it a lot, but I think that it's, it's this thing where, you know, they realize after a while that this is not a game or a joke and it never has been and I'm very serious about who I am and all they can do is take me for who I am because at the end of the day I still love them and nothing is going to change. So I think that they realize that especially as I'm starting to evolve into my career and presenting more feminine. I'm getting jobs, why do I have to pay attention to any of these people who are so negative and hurtful, you know? I'm doing my thing and they're not and that's on them. So I can just ignore the messages and drink my cup of tea and go about my day. <laughs> I am very goal oriented and I have a lot of love for people and life itself. So there's nothing to feel insecure about when you know that you have a big heart and you're constantly loving people and that people love you and that you know who you are. And I think that's it. <laughs>